Hi all all welcome to the latest episode of DVN Arvej Reddy podcast today we have an interesting guest with us he has 11 years of experience and immense knowledge in civil engineering today our guest is Dr Rakesh Sampu welcome sir thank you thank you manoj thank you for inviting me to this podcast sir you have a remarkable education qualification from one of the most prestigious college nit varangal so what motivated you to join there so uh, actually myself and my younger brother both were civil engineers and my father was also a civil engineer okay so it started inspiration from my father so he was actually the only child to his parents and he lost his father at the age of 3 so and uh, he has a uh, uh, he has gone to school where he will top day the class and also he has studied with scholarships and later on he went into government job and at then he retired at, as a superintendent engineer of the ap state housing corporation so during our uh, childhood days we used to see our father Uh, being a civil engineer and uh, constructing buildings and supervising various works so we got that motivation of uh, doing a civil engineering at that time and also uh, the hard work that my father has uh, went through so it has inspired us that we also should uh, go to premier institutes and also should study uh, well so that we can uh, do good job and also to benefit the society that and uh, apart and the second question that you are talking about uh, the learning experience uh, at prestigious institutions when you are talking about in india especially so there we will be having very very highly qualified and experienced faculty members who had made good experience of more than 20 to 25 years and also the facilities and resources that we have at those institutions will be remarkably and exceptionally very well so because of that uh, i had motivated myself and i got into nit varangal for my masters and my doctorate degree like as a father as a son you know my next question was like who guided you for uh, taking the civil engineering but uh, i got the answer uh, your father of course and also at that time in my childhood so uh, you might be heard about this like uh, golden uh, quadrilateral where the uh, major cities of india were connected with the uh, four lane roads yeah. so at that time uh, we used to have in news like uh, Uh, india is bright, shining mm-hmm. so that slogans we used to have so at the time when i was going on those roads i used to feel like oh wow huge such beautiful roads and also at the time only we had started like uh, big buildings are coming up bridges are coming up so those infrastructure which i could see physically has motivated myself how how are these structures are being built so that developed uh, more enthusiasm towards civil engineering and obviously my parents also supported like uh, not others like so i had taken civil engineering on my choice so in today's scenario uh, most of the students are uh, pursuing computer science and going uh, towards the course which related to technology very few students are interested in core uh, what do you think about this trend uh, yes definitely i do uh, partly agree with the ongoing scenario but i would like to divide this into two uh, aspects one is a lack of proper knowledge on uh, core disciplines of engineering second one is uh, they are unable to see the future so like uh, if i am talking about my branch of specialization civil engineering so in the year 2019 our prime minister narendra modi ji has launched a initiative called pm gati shakti scheme where the central government itself is going to invest more than 110 lakh crore rupees to improve the last mile connectivity in india which including roads rails uh, airports harbors etc and uh, at the same time people are like uh, going towards uh, civil uh, sorry computer related technologies and mostly parents and students are opting for that but at the same time the core branches of discipline like civil mechanical electrical and other branches of engineering they are also uh, going along with the computer technologies by imbibing ai and ml tools in their respective branches and a uh, lot of research work is also going on especially in civil engineering and other um, uh, core disciplines of engineering to improve the production as well as the maintenance of various structures i mean to say both built infrastructure as well as the natural infrastructure so it is up to the uh, perspective of the parents and their mindset and uh, they should stop forcing their uh, wards to take uh, only computer related technologies or computer related branches so it is up, it should be left up to the student's choice the student has to see what is actually going on in the global market scenario and uh, based on their interest they have to choose a particular branch of engineering that would be more uh, appropriate and i have another question like uh, most of the parents hesitate uh, to join girls in civil department 
like uh, there is a rumor that uh, girls don't join the civil department <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, but actually it is a uh, pure myth so because uh, girl students uh, also can achieve good success in civil engineering courses also because it's not like uh, it has come from the perception of the parents that the uh, they have seen on the outside the uh, labor or the other engineers who are working on the sites uh, getting lot of hardship jobs so they have also uh, understood that okay if my child if my girl if she is taking civil engineering she also has to stand in the site and pursue these hard jobs work for from morning 8 to evening 8 like that but actually it is wrong because uh, the civil engineering also has a lot of aspects which uh, you can work uh, from office uh, like for example you can uh, work to develop a software for civil application also you can uh, try to do some design and you can produce drawings for a particular structure by sitting at a computer in your office so there are also uh, plenty jobs so it i think nowadays the perception has changed because in the recent scenario we are also seeing uh, parents are also interested to uh, ask their uh, girls to join the civil engineering course sir often uh, students find that uh, jobs in civil engineering are old fashioned like uh, there is no scope higher scope in civil engineering so they prefer in the software sites so uh, what are your ideas i mean what are the new technologies that you are adding in the civil department nowadays um, not at all actually because uh, the current day civil engineers are using uh, most of the modern technologies that are available as on today uh, we we have lot of cases like uh, uh, previously in our childhood uh, we used to construct one small house for 6 months or one year now within 45 days we are building buildings in bangalore the uh, drdo the defense research and development organization which is a body of uh, government of india it has constructed a g plus uh, seven story building in 45 days mm -hmm. so it was a remarkable uh, journey as a civil engineer and it was happened only because of uh, advancement of technologies in civil engineering and also nowadays we can see lot of ai and ml tools that are being included in the uh, civil engineering for uh, various works uh, we also have uh, 3D printing technology. So, where in uh, Bangalore we have recently constructed, the uh, central government has constructed one 3D printed post office. Mm -hmm. uh, with, within a day or maximum of two days, you can construct a small house. So, technologies are coming, they are advancing and civil engineers are adopting them and there is a lot of scope for these things. And also I would like to quote one example. Uh, suppose if you you have heard about health insurance so you get if you take any health insurance based on your age you will have some premium but physically the properties also will have uh, insurance mm. suppose if any natural calamity occurs the insurance company will pay some compensation to you but uh, being a human being okay it's fine that how much premium has to be collected from you it will be well known to the company but for a structure if a damage happens how much compensation has to be paid accordingly how much premium the company has to collect they don't know so it is only the civil engineers depending upon the structure how much uh, the damage might happen if a calamity occurs any natural disaster and accordingly how much premium you need to collect the insurance company is go going to charge so it will be done only by a civil engineer not by a software engineer but at the same time the civil engineer cannot do uh, work on paper and you can say you can collect this much of amount you should have tools uh, that predict the amount of damage and accordingly you should have tools to collect the premium to decide the premium so it's a mix of both uh, computer based technologies and the civil engineering knowledge that can be applied in this case so likewise there are many examples uh, where we are imbibing technology latest technologies in civil engineering and we are moving forward so it, it's uh, good to know that the civil department uh, is adapting the new trends sir uh, what makes uh, this uh, civil engineering in VNR VJIT is different from the other colleges? Like, what are the qualities that makes VNR VJIT uh, different from uh, other institutions? Yes, uh, being an alumnus of the Department of Civil Engineering at VNR VJIT, uh, it was a very appropriate question to me because I have seen the department uh, from the perspective of a student as well as a faculty. So, uh, the Department of Civil Engineering at VNR VJIT was started 22 years back and uh, it has very well qualified uh, faculty, had uh, uh, faculty pursued PhD from IITs, NITs and most prestigious institutions in India. Also the resources, the learning resources and the facilities that uh, we have at uh, Civil Engineering Department in VNR VJIT are almost, uh, they, are, they match with the prestigious institutions in India. And also uh, at the 
civil engineering department in BNR BJT, uh, we actually carry a lot of consultancy projects for the industry, uh, where we also involve the students uh, to take to be a part of these projects. So there the students uh, not only get the book knowledge, but at the same time they are exposed to practical problems and uh, how we are proposing solutions to that. So they have both the perspective from the book as the same time from the field. And also the students in the engineering department, we take them to uh, industrial visits uh, once in every semester of their uh, course of study. And at that time, we also take them to different construction sites where the new technologies and latest technologies are being adopted. So, and we also discuss the same in the class so that the, it will be a blend of both uh, classroom teaching as well as uh, field based learning. And also during the summer, uh, during their breaks, we encourage the students basically to go to uh, different sites uh, where uh, to take up small projects for a period of a month or two. Uh, so that they can see what are the latest technologies that the people are adopting in the construction and also how they can uh, improvise that particular technology, they can take it as a major project. And also at VNR VJIT, we basically focus on uh, learning by doing concept so that we encourage the students to uh, do a small projects so that by doing the project they can learn. That is the basic uh, advantage. Yes, sir. Uh, your answer uh, completely justifies that uh, why uh, VNR is so famous in civil engineering. So, uh, civil engineering uh, is uh, basically of more of uh, no on-field uh, knowledge than the theoretical knowledge. So, during the time of lockdown, so what are the difficulties you faced while uh, teaching uh, in online mode? Yeah, thanks to necessity because uh, necessity is the mother of invention. Yes, we do have faced uh, small uh, issues uh, at the start of uh, online classes, but later on uh, they have subsided and the students and uh, the uh, teachers have completely acquainted with the online system. And uh, thanks to the virtual laboratories, so nowadays uh, virtual laboratories are being developed even for the civil engineering like a concrete laboratory, geotechnical engineering laboratory, strength of materials laboratory, so they are available. And also nowadays uh, because of the uh, uh, movement in the uh, YouTube uh, shorts, etc. So the construction companies, uh, they are also highlighting their projects, explaining the technologies to students. If you refer to any top companies, they are maintaining a YouTube channel and they are explaining the projects that they have carried out and explaining the technologies that they are carrying out. So this has given us a lot of uh, help and uh, showing the students instead of taking them directly to the field, we can show those videos, we can explain the technologies and we can have a more of interaction with the students uh, even through online. And also the students are also uh, initially, initially at the initial, uh, the initial stages, the students were a uh, bit reluctant to the online classes, but later on because of uh, blend of learning like uh, teaching as well as uh, some kind of so, uh, media uh, with the help of videos and the latest technologies, the students are also gaining a little bit interest uh, in adapting towards online teaching. Sir, what are, what are the qualities that a student must have uh, to be successful in any career uh, which he has chosen? Yeah, what I believe is uh, the any person who wants to be having a successful career, he should possess three qualities. The first one is uh, interest based, the self driven. So, because uh, there is in Telugu we have a saying like you cannot take a donkey to a uh, uh, lake and uh, ask it to drink the water unless otherwise it is thirsty. So interest in any person is the driving force towards his career and future. And second one is the zeal to understand and learn. So without you uh, listen to the other person and understand what he is saying, you cannot have proper learning. And uh, the third one is uh, should never regret uh, when you have a failure. And uh, if any failures occurs also, you should overcome that and move on further. Because uh, we have a saying like failures are the stepping stones of success. So these are the three qualities that what I believe uh, anybody should possess to have a, a bright career. Yes sir, uh, we can expect more changes in education system in coming days. So coming to the final question, so what is the advice would you like to give to the student, uh, those who are applying or want to come uh, to join the civil engineering or any other core branches? Yes. Uh, so this was a very relevant question because of the present day scenario of uh, students and parents moving towards computer technologies. So basically the civil engineering is one of the oldest uh, branches of engineering and uh, it has come after the military engineering. So it was a basically a subset of military engineering. 
Military engineering was the oldest branch of engineering where uh, civil engineering has evolved from it. Mm -hmm. So basically, civil engineering is the only discipline that uh, meets the needs of the uh, human beings, basic needs of the human beings like uh, the supplying uh, pure and safe drinking water, uh, providing shelter, and uh, providing clean air, and uh, also the infrastructure facilities. So the civil engineers not only provide infrastructure to the human beings, but also they maintain the naturally built environment like forests, rivers, etc. And uh, coming to the civil engineering field, this is the one discipline of engineering where uh, you can uh, witness the things that you do on paper like a design or a drawing or any kind of project management. If you do in your system or on your paper, you can witness it every day in your day to day life. And uh, the students who are having that zeal towards uh, infrastructure, the naturally built infrastructure or the built infrastructure, they can proceed uh, for this civil engineering or suppose you can talk about the automobile engineering or instrumentation. So they also have their own importance in the present day scenario. So it is up to the students uh, based on their choice, they have to select the branch of engineering. Then only they can become successful in their career. Thank you, sir. Thank you for uh, letting us know the unknown facts of civil engineering. Thank you for your valuable insights. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Manos. Thank you for the opportunity given to me. And uh, thanks, VNR VJIT, uh, social media team, for uh, sharing, uh, giving me an opportunity to share my views about the civil engineering branch. Thank you.